Okay, so let's say we've arrived at Paris for the first time. That's Paris, France. And we're at Charles de Gaulle Airport. And we need to get into the city now. And it's early in the afternoon. You'd like to go and see the Louvre. And maybe see some of the famous sights in Paris for the first time. And you don't have a lot of money. So let's, let's see how we get there. Now, I'm using a uh, Garmin GPS a 3590 with uh, the City Explorer map for Paris loaded. Uh, I use this quite a bit for public transportation, right? We're going to be taking the Rossi bus to the opera from Charles de Gaulle Airport. And uh, this is the cheapest way to get into the city, and probably the best. Uh, turn sharp right on the road. We continue to Terminal 2AC bus stop on the right. It's very short. We're going to take the bus Rossi towards Paris Opera. It's only one stop. And it's uh, a great view. You're going to get a nice ride through the city, in, through the suburbs and into the city. Uh, and you're going to stop at the Opera Garnet, which is kind of famous because that's where you have the Phantom. And that's a definite photo op for you as you get off the bus. So um, this is going to cost you about about 10 euros now. It used to be a lot cheaper, uh, but it's still a lot cheaper than the 50 or 60 euros for a cab. And um, if you're a first-time visitor, you're probably going to be staying in the opera because most of the cheaper hotels are there, and it's right in the heart of town. You, know, you, can't, you can't go wrong there, in my opinion. Now, the, um, the Rossi bus is going to stop by the opera in front of what was the old American Express building. Huge, beautiful building. Uh, it may not have the American Express sign on there anymore because of the uh, the workout from uh, the financial crisis. American Express had to dissolve their operations in in Europe. Uh, so that's a great pity because uh, you don't really have American Express to go to if you're looking for someone who speaks English. All right. Now, anyway, so here we are. We're going on the Rossi bus towards Paris Opera. We're going to get off at the Paris Opera stop, which is going to be right in front of the old American Express building. Um, now we're going to leave the stop on Place Charles Garnier towards Rue Auber. We're basically walking across the street. And be a little careful because there's a lot of traffic here. And you're going to get that great view of the Opera Garnier. So have your cameras ready. Uh, continue to the Opera Metro Railway. Now we're going to go down on the Metro, which is a wonderful experience. Uh, you could walk to the Louvre from here, but it's miles, and you're probably going to have luggage, so you don't want to do that. Um, so at any rate, uh, we're going to go down to the Opera, you know, on, on the Opera Metro Railway Station. We're going down to the to the Paris Metro. Uh, I'd recommend that you get out about uh, 10 euros again and buy yourself a Carnet, C-A-R-N-E-T. And that's a, a book of 10 tickets, which you use... As you get into the metro, you're going to feed it tickets like we do in many places. Okay? Um, and uh, those will let you get around pretty well today. Uh, so we're going to go on, on the station on the left, according to my Garmin here. We're going to board the Metro Railway M7 at Opera. And we're going to take the Metro Railway M7 towards Marie de Vry. Now there's all kinds of wonderful electronic signs down in the metro so you, you can't really go wrong here and we're not going very far you know you're only going about a mile so we're going to get off at the Palace Royal Musée du Louvre stop and that's the Louvre and we do want to see the Louvre we're going to leave the station on Rue de Rivoli towards Place du Carousel now Place du Carousel has a small triumphal arch it's not really that small it's it's a lot like the Grand Arc de Triomphe, um, but it's it's an older arch, and it's right in front of the of the Louvre. And uh, I'm just showing you this picture on my laptop. This is it. There's your Louvre, and there's Place du Carousel. Now, as you get off the train, up out of the train, you're going to see two stairways going down on the left near the place to carousel 
those are going to lead you, if you go down those stairs, those are going to lead you into the, the traditional entrance of the Louvre. Now, today most people enter through the pyramid, which is a lovely thing, and it also uh, has a million people online. The French use those stairways by the Arc du Carousel. You probably have a five minute wait getting into the Louvre this way. So uh, I'd highly recommend you go this way, go down those stairs, and you can take your, uh, your quick walk through the Louvre. And a quick walk through the Louvre could take you 15 minutes or it could take you three days. So uh, be prepared for that. Now, depending upon the time of the day, you really want to get out of the Louvre, walk through that Arc du Carousel, and go up into the Tuileries Gardens. Now, the Tuileries Gardens are probably one of the best walks and strolls on the face of the planet. It's just just a lovely sight as you walk through Paris. And uh, I'm going to get into this map here and show you what I'm talking about. Um, it's about a half a mile walk. And you try to time this for about a, you know, half an hour before sunset. Um, and you'll, you'll see this, you'll be walking toward Place Concord, which is right in the middle there. And Place Concord is, is a big Egyptian obelisk, you know, which you must have seen already. But it's the center of the city. This whole place was set up because there were a lot of demonstrations always at Place Concord. You know, by the general population rising up to overthrow the government. So, um, Mr. Houseman, who designed the city, you know, in probably the 16th, 17th century, um, if you notice, they're all straight lines going out of Concord. So you can see the city at all points of the compass. You can also set up cannons at either end and kill anybody who's uh, making trouble there. So that's something to that be considerate, considerate of when you're in, in Paris, especially. Um, be very cautious with the police. Um, they do a very good job of keeping the peace, okay? Now, uh, we're going to walk through the Tuileries. And it's a lovely walk, a nice stroll. You're going to walk past a beautiful reflecting pool and onto Place Concord. Once you get onto Concord by the obelisk, you'll see beautiful fountains. They're going to be spouting their thing, you know, and, and pumping out water, and it's lovely. If you've ever seen the movie Gigi, you know what I'm talking about. You can, you can make believe you're, you're in the movies. Uh, but just stay there after sunset, because at sunset, the lights start to come on all around Paris. You look to the left here, there's going to be the Napoleon's tomb. You look straight ahead, there's the Arc de Triomphe. Between that is going to be the Eiffel Tower. So um, just sit there, wait till, wait till dark, and, and enjoy the, the light show. After that, you can walk down sh the Champs-Élysées here and, and see some fabulous shops and fabulous restaurants. So that's my first day in, in Paris for you. You saved some money on a cab. You took the metro. Uh, hopefully you got to your hotel along the way. But if not, you're going to go back down into the, into the metro and, and get there. And I hope you've enjoyed this little tour. Uh, this was on the Garmin City Select, uh, no, excuse me, City Explorer map of Paris, uh, which unfortunately Garmin has dis discontinued them uh, in 2014. Uh, but they're still available on the internet someplace. So you know, they're out there if you want to take the trouble of loading them onto your map. But um, you can also do it in Google. I'm sure you can duplicate this in Google Maps. All right, have a great time in Paris.